when is ketu transiting to hasta nakshatra 4th march or has he already transited on 7th of february well if you go to drikpanchang.com you can see so here true ketu so as you know for rahu ketu there are true nodes and mean nodes okay so the mean nodes the mean ketu had all is going to transit on 4th of march okay so after two days three days and that which happened on 7th February is actually true nodes. Okay, true Ketu. So the true node transit has already happened and the mean node transit is going to happen. So depending on whichever you take, either it is either uh, 7th February or 4th of March. But nonetheless, from 4th of March onwards, there is no confusion. So I've already made the video on the generic understanding of this transit. So I will link it down in the description section for you to watch it. But this video will tell you for every ascendant what's going to happen and just for the dates so for true ketu from 7th february to 2nd december is the date and for mean nodes mean ketu from 4th of march to 10th of november so around november december that is when uh, is the final time okay so nonetheless let's deep dive into it and as usual if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it and also comment how are you feeling this transit and what are your plans? What do you think Ketu will do for you? Okay, and where is your Ketu in the birth chart? God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. And for personalized consultations, you can always go to my website. You will find that down in the description section. All right, so for Aries, what's going on? For you, this transit of Ketu is in the sixth house. So now, Ketu in the sixth house... Uh, in Hasta Nakshatra can give you a lot of opportunities to work hard in your profession. And Ketu in the sixth house in Hasta can give you opportunities if you are a manager in your company. For example, you have you might have to do some micromanaging. Okay, Hasta Nakshatra is about micromanaging, and sixth house can represent your uh, subordinates or employees okay not like literal subordinates that is the fifth house but it can show somebody who you are training okay which is like the sixth house so if you are a manager you might do micromanaging or you might need to do it because there could be some issues which you are not aware of okay or if you are a normal employee you might need to dig deep into certain things regarding your own skill set so therefore if you are not doing good in life, so it is ascendance. If you are having problem in your job or profession, either you are a manager or an employee or whoever you are, now is the time to get into the details. All right. So go and check every parameter. So irrespective of what is your profession, try to get things right. Okay. If you do this, if you work hard, you will get success. But that's the thing with Ketu. There could be some confusion. Okay, so try to resolve that confusion by knowing more because Ketu doesn't have the head. Okay, so know more, learn more, and by that, you will get rid of the confusion. Okay, so for Taurus, this conjunction is in the fifth house. So you might have to uh, do some micromanaging for your kids. Okay, if you have kids. Now, if you don't have kids, you might want to uh, pursue some hobby uh, in in much in in a serious way okay it's like you might want to convert your hobby into some side hustle or you want you might want to try your uh, convert your passion into profession okay you might or you might uh, want to learn something new uh, especially with the hands for example you know some keyboard or guitar or something so this is a classic time to learn some musical instruments if you want and uh, this this period uh, will require a lot of efforts from you in terms of learning something and also the fifth house is the second from the fourth house so this is a house where you come out of learning but you learn how to see the broader picture okay so if you have a job or you are a boss you are a senior uh, employee or whoever you are irrespective of that if you if you feel you have done your part but still things are not working in your favor so it could be that there is something which you are missing from the top so try to get a bird's eye view and i'm sure you will do very good so go into depth of your hobbies uh, learn more get the bird's eye view 
do some micromanaging for your children if it's required without uh, doing wrong. All right. So all the best, Aries. So now for Gemini, uh, this is happening in your fourth house. Fourth house, Hasta Nakshatra, definitely something to do with learning, reading, writing and uh, understanding of things. Hasta Nakshatra in the fourth house, will it will literally teach you how to do things. So if you don't know how to do certain things, you need to learn now. Okay, so fourth house is the house of learning. And because Ketu is there, you you may be confused in regards to what to learn. So if you feel that you are confused, you are not aware of what you should do, then best is to take guidance from somebody who is senior to you. Okay. And once you get the guidance, please put in the necessary hard work. And because fourth house shows mother and home and uh, your luxuries, there could be some confusion. There could be some, some annoying things in your house or the, your relationship with your mother uh, could uh, undergo some strain. All right. So therefore, uh, make sure you maintain the positivity in the house. And if you are about to take a house or uh, a car, new car, then uh, you can go for it. Nothing wrong. Uh, make sure uh, you know the facts right. And Hasta is the document, is the sign. Okay. So before you sign the contract or uh, that purchase, make sure you get your facts right. Okay. So read the conditions, apply properly if you want to buy something. All right. So now for cancer, what's going on cancer? This is in your third house, third house, Hasta Nakshatra. Definitely something to do with technology and uh, something to do with, you know, mics or some speech or putting yourself out in the world. So now is the time that you show some, show some courage and you go and try to uh, do that which you always wanted to do. Because now what Ketu will do is Ketu will put you in a situation where it's like a do or die situation. Okay. So depending on your dashas, there will be a situation in your life. There could be. I hope it's not very extreme. There could be a situation where you have two choices. Either you show your courage and you do that which you are most fearful of. Or you just run away, okay, like a coward. So now is the time you have to give up your cowardice. You have to you have to fight. Third house, Hasta Nakshatra, the weapon, okay. It's like Lord Ram, Kudanda Ram. You have to take the bow and the arrow and you have to fight like Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj, the sword, you know, Maharana Pratap, like Rani Lakshmi Bhai, you have to fight, all right? There's no alternative. So do not run away from your difficulties. Fight, 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 and fight. And then you will win, all right? All the best. So now for Leo, number two, second house, second house, Hasta Nakshatra, second house. This is a fantastic time for you to do some auditing, okay? Auditing of your expenses, your earnings, your investments, your net worth, your growth, everything. So anything related to your finances, anything related to your net worth, you need to make sure that you are aware of ins and outs. Okay, so for example, please do budgeting. Please, please, please do budgeting. So start doing budgeting. And if you have a lot of money sitting aside in the bank, you know, invest into something. Of course, I'm not a financial advisor disclaimer consult a financial advisor before you make some uh, financial decision but invest your money into something you know like uh, you can uh, some part of your money you can keep in fixed deposits a uh, very small part you know for emergency if required you know uh, or you can do recurring deposits or you can invest in stock market etf uh, blue chip uh, whatever and they say you know small cap large cap <laughs> If you are not confident, you can invest uh, via mutual funds. You can invest into crypto, real estate, uh, REITs, all this you can invest. Okay, so, uh, but wherever you invest, learn about it before. Otherwise, you will lose money. K2 in second house transit in Hasta can make you lose money if you do things headlessly. All right, so be watchful of your decisions and you will make good money. All right, all the best. Now for Virgo. This transit is in your first house. Ketu is already there in your first house and now he's in Hasta. So when Ketu transits Hasta for you in the first house, you may get a feeling that you do not know about certain areas in your life, okay, depending on which dasha you are running. So best thing for you, Virgo Lagna, is to sit and meditate 
and not just meditate. So you have to sit and meditate and think, which are the areas in my life where I am not doing good? Because Hasta Nakshatra can uh, force you to do micromanagement sometimes, as I have said for other ascendants also. And for you, because this is your lagna, you, you, it, it may be any area of life because every house is from the ascendant. So if you if you are having problems in your profession, try to go into the depth, as they say, balki khan nikalna. Okay, you have to go into the depth and figure out what the hell am I doing wrong in the profession? What's problem? What's the problem with my marriage? What's the problem with my uh, skill sets? Okay, so any area of life could be under uh, could require a lot of attention from you. So therefore, please understand that now you need to take control of your life you need to do micromanagement for yourself okay uh, otherwise uh, you will you will be confused because ketu is in the ascendant so if you work hard and you do what ketu wants you to do you will not feel confused or else you will feel very headless and you will feel very confused okay and in case you do your best and you still can't find anybody or you still can't find any solution, then do your best. Take guidance from your uh, seniors, uh, from somebody in your profession or some astrologer or your Shiksha Guru, your Diksha Guru or for your parents or relatives or your company colleagues, your seniors uh, or somebody from YouTube, online, offline, whoever or some friend and then uh, do your best. All right. All the best. Now for Libra. Uh, this is in the 12th house, okay? So what is the 12th house? 12th house is the house of losses. 12th house is the house of seclusion, loneliness. 12th house shows jail and all this. Don't worry, you won't go to the jail. <laughs> but what does it mean when Ketu transits the 12th house? This is a fantastic time for your spiritual progress, okay? So uh, maybe this is a very good time to uh, chant uh, God's names because the Hasta Nakshatra related to the 9th and the 12th will show chanting in the beads. You know, you are doing some counting with the hands, okay? So try to network with people in your spiritual community and if you are not having any spiritual practices daily, then try to inculcate it in your life. And also remember that 12th house is the house of expenditure. So you need to make sure that you are aware of where your money is going out because many times people they earn a lot of money but then they lose everything and they are not aware so i said the same thing for leo ascendants because for them it's in the second so you need to do budgeting and also for libra please do proper budgeting okay and understand that sometimes during this transit somebody who owes you money may not give you money or they may suddenly turn up and give you money okay so uh, if you, if somebody asks to you, if you are a Libra Lagna, if somebody is asking you money, then uh, you have to be careful in lending them out. Okay. Otherwise, if you just lend it recklessly, it might never come back. Okay. And when you are asking money from others, even then you need to be careful uh, because you need to read the terms and conditions properly. All right. So overall, a great time for travel, spiritual practices, doing uh, doing uh, visiting satsang programs and budgeting and careful with lending money. Okay. Or taking loans. All right. <clears throat> okay. So now for Scorpio, this is in the 11th house. Now, Ketu transiting the 11th house can make you uh, confused about your uh, social circle. Now, what does it mean confused? Confused means it's like you are having a social circle, but you kind of feel left out. Why? Because you are in the wrong circle. So now Ketu, whenever he transits the 11th, he kicks you or pulls you out of the social circle because he wants to to put you where you actually lie okay uh, so therefore if you feel very lost if you feel confused if you feel like very bad you know then maybe it's a great time for you to uh, do some meditation go to some spiritual community you know and find some uh, solace there and because this is the 11th house so this could be the house of gains so if you are uh, like a student who is, you know, wanting to do some uh, side job, you know, using your hands, you know, some something th that could be a great opportunity. Okay. It could be a bit humble job, but you could do it. Okay. You, you can try at least. 
and if you are into it then of course using your hands typing that that's a great time and also uh, if you uh, if you are already like an event manager then uh, it's a good time for you but uh, you need to anticipate that some events may be cancelled okay so if you are doing a lot of event management planning uh, it's good but you have to be having a plan b okay so have an alternative and don't put 100 percent trust on your friend or your employee or your business partner because you know 11th house is gains to other people okay so other people ketu malefic uh hasta so there could be some issues okay and also be careful before you sign some contract okay now sagittarius 10th house classic 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 profession 10th house is your name fame power position status so now, when Ketu transits Hasta Nakshatra in your 10th house, it will force you to introspect on what, what are you doing in your profession? What do you want to do in your profession? How do you want to see yourself? Okay. So, because Hasta literally represents the work. So, you will be very conscious of what are you doing? Do you really want to do this for a long period of time or you want to switch your domain? You want to shift from your area? So, if you are not very confident, then do not make any shifts now. But keep keep doing things in the background. Okay, so keep learning new technologies, keep learning new things, keep doing new things, and then when the time is right, you should make a shift. You know, try to get a new job or move a new domain. Okay, but don't do it abruptly. Okay, so for example, if you are uh, into IT and you want to go into management or either ways, you know, you are into medicine and you want to come to IT. So don't just leave your job and, you know, just uh, be like a macho man and just uh, do whatever you want. Okay. So you will get a new job name fame will be there for you. But if you make a very informed decision and uh, do it in a very calibrated way, so take calculated risks, work in the background and then make the make, make the big shift. All right. And then you will be rewarded. All right, so then Capricorn for Capricorn, this is the ninth house. So Ketu transiting ninth house in Hasta Nakshatra. Fantastic time for spiritual practices, for spiritual pursuits, for chanting mantras, for um, taking association of great personalities, and actually learning new things. Okay, so when uh, this transit starts, you may feel that you are actually learning a lot, especially spiritual topics. You know, maybe. Uh, learning uh, like Sanskrit, you may be learning <clears throat> to read the Bhagavad Gita, the Srimad Bhagavatam, <clears throat> anything uh, which uh, makes you a better person, which um, brings out the better version of yourself, which helps you to become the best version. Okay, so that is something which you should do, and also now, if you are already learning something, now is the time you have to kind of start perfecting it. <clears throat> you cannot become perfect, but you have to start to work in a way that the knowledge that you know is for some use. Okay, so for example, if you uh, are doing some certification just randomly, then uh, now is the time you will have to specialize in some area. Like, you know, for example, if you are in cloud technologies, you are in Google Cloud, the area from where I am associated with. So, then you, you can't just keep doing random certifications. Okay, you have to do like, you know, one certification, then you have to see the next, then maybe within machine learning, you do one or two certifications or within network security, you do one or two certifications. So you have to kind of narrow down and specialize and formalize what is that you want to learn. So rather than just, you know, hovering around here, there, you know, so try to ask yourself, what do I want to become at the end? And by that, you learn accordingly, all right? And then Aquarius, this is the eighth house. Eighth house is the house of research. Eighth house is the house uh, where uh, Ketu actually, if you see originally, uh, is the sign of Scorpio. Uh, and Ketu gets uh, exalted in Sagittarius, some say in Scorpio. Okay, so this is a great placement. Not the best for material pursuits. But in general, it's a great placement for research. So... Now, research doesn't mean you have to start doing PhD. Okay, this is very important. So, you can start doing research on things that are already there in your life. Okay, 
and hasta nakshatra also has to do with research so for you there is only one word research and there's nothing else okay i mean there could be a thousand things but this in my opinion is the most prominent thing that you should do and you will have to do eventually inevitably okay so therefore if you are already in the research field then uh, you have to deepen it or if you are in it or medicine or law then you are doing something on the side okay you are learning astrology which i'm sure you are because you are watching this video or you are learning some new skill or you are learning technologies or eighth house can also show uh, unearned money you know uh, wealth of other people so you are into wealth management you know for other people and all uh, similar uh, technologies similar uh, portfolio so therefore uh, research and something related to other people is something which you have to do inevitably and you will do good at it but make sure you do it responsibly okay do not get into gambling when malefics transit the eighth house you may be tempted to go into wrong things you know wrong you like sinful things like gambling and all this so please don't do it otherwise you will suffer repercussions okay but for research this is the best time you will not get it so use this time and make the best of it all right thank you and last but not the least, Pisces, ha. Rahu in the seventh, uh, sorry, Ketu in the seventh and Rahu in Lagna. Okay, so Ketu is in the seventh in Hastanakshatra. So this is specifically related to your marriage. Now, many people think that when Ketu transits the seventh house, there is confusion in marriage. Well, not necessarily. That will only happen if your dashas are indicating the sixth house. Okay, but nonetheless, whatever your dashas are indicating irrespective of that when ketu is transiting your seventh house there could be a situation where you are confused about how you should proceed ahead in your marriage okay so which means you know there is some problem but you are confused now what should i do so best is to take guidance from somebody uh, who you trust who has a good married life or some marriage counselor or some astrologer uh, if you are confused or with your the same situation could come with your business partners okay so now you really have to make notes so sit down with your business partner with your spouse and make notes hasta nakshatra you have to make notes there is no exception because now you have to identify the problem and solve it so do not become emotional don't or rather don't become hyper emotional okay so please understand that there is a problem and there can be a solution if you try okay because what happens when ketu transits the seventh you may be so much emotional and so much overly obsessed that you even forget or you even don't believe that there could be a solution so there can be a solution but you have to work for it okay so therefore get the guidance that is required from somebody who is more experienced than you and try to keep your emotions in check this is also because rahu <coughs> is in your lagna okay so because of that you may think see things in a bit more exaggerated way okay things may be a bit blown out of proportion okay so therefore make sure you keep yourself grounded and your spouse also okay depending on which ascendant your spouse is okay but nonetheless you will feel this for sure so don't be confused if you are confused if it's okay don't curse yourself if you are confused but make sure you work together for a better cause all right thank you so much and see you soon again